Now let's talk about the concerns. The number one concern is safety. And we begin with the three H's. Hindenburg, H-bomb, Hollywood. These three factors are central to the mainstream public opinion about hydrogen. Many people know about the Hindenburg accident in 1937 and how it became an iconic symbol for the so-called dangers of hydrogen. What people need to know is that, as new evidence now shows, the cause of the big fire was not the hydrogen inside the Hindenburg, but the paint on the outside. Even more important than that, we've come a long way since 1937 in knowing how to handle flammable gases, and that the issues of containing hydrogen in a flexible fabric have little to do with the reality of modern hydrogen technology, especially the most recent developments. The impressive safety record of the hydrogen industry since 1937 speaks for itself. Everyone knows about the hydrogen bomb, but many apparently forgot from 7th grade science class the critical difference between a nuclear reaction and a chemical reaction. Nuclear reactions are millions of times more powerful. When we talk about using hydrogen to store renewable energy, we're talking only about using chemical reactions. The only way a nuclear re fusion reaction like the H-bomb can even occur is in the presence of extreme heat, like 100 million degrees, which it gets by first detonating a conventional fission atomic bomb. Finally, there's Hollywood, which seems to take every opportunity possible to falsely portray hydrogen as the most explosive and dangerous substance there is. They do it over and over again. The latest James Bond film gives us a bad guy with a secret fortress in the desert that is entirely powered by hydrogen fuel cells. James Bond shoots one bullet into a large hydrogen tank and a massive explosion occurs, destroying the entire complex. This is laughable and completely unrealistic. Case in point, during World War I, the English had a very difficult time shooting down German dirigibles over London, when one would have thought they'd be sitting ducks. Hollywood has done a great disservice to renewable energy and could redeem itself with new movies celebrating the promise of hydrogen. Regarding hydrogen safety, physicist Amory Lovins wrote a 2003 paper called 20 Hydrogen Myths. Some have tried to refute it. None have succeeded. As a peer-reviewed journal article, it has stood the test of time. One of the myths is that hydrogen is more dangerous for use in cars than gasoline. Here we see the fuel tanks of two cars set on fire in clinical tests. Hydrogen burns straight up, whereas gasoline pools on the ground, setting off an inferno. To be fair, there are situations where hydrogen could be more dangerous than gasoline, but the general consensus among professionals is that overall, if anything, hydrogen is more safe. Fact, if the tanker truck crash that caused the Oakland Freeway meltdown in 2007 had been carrying hydrogen instead of gasoline, the flame would have gone straight up and the freeway would not have collapsed. Modern technology has pretty much solved the hydrogen safety issues. State-of-the-art quick-release nozzles that are leak-proof and corrosion-proof make hydrogen refueling now as safe and convenient as gasoline. Carbon fiber tanks that can withstand dynamite and close-range gunshots virtually eliminate the possibility of fires or explosions on cars. In actual crashes, the new hydrogen technology has performed remarkably well, and there are new forms of hydrogen storage that are even safer.